Here we go again. Dimitar Berbatov believes Jaden Sancho could play for Man Ut again, but only if Eric Ten Hag leaves. Jaden Sancho came on for Dortmund and got an assist, which is a great way to return to his old club, Berbatov told Betfair. This is how football can work out sometimes. You can be really good in one league or in a different country, then go to the English Premier League, and it just doesn't work out for you. Dortmund is a good move for Sancho, because he's returned to familiar surroundings with friends around him. He's made a good start with them, and it'll be great if he goes back to his previous form, but if you're asking me if that'll get him back in Ten Hag's good books, I don't think so. I only see Sancho playing for Manchester United again, if the manager changes. If Sancho does well at Dortmund, he should be in contention for a place at Euro 2024. Meanwhile, Dimitar Berbatov doesn't believe Man United have a chance of signing Karim Benzema because they are not in European competition. He told Betfair, Despite United being linked, Benzema will want to play in the Champions League, and I think he still wants to play regularly. He's very similar to Cristiano Ronaldo in that respect. He wants to win trophies too, Berbatov told Betfair. It'll all come down to what Ten Hag says to him, but in the end, sometimes the Man United brand and badge is sometimes all that needs to appeal to some players. I think Benzema would get more game time at Chelsea because Nicholas Jackson is still finding his feet and is still missing chances. Also, it'd be in London, and sometimes you want your new surroundings to be in a big city like that. Arsenal would be a very similar move because he'd be able to chase Champions League success. He'd also be able to play regularly because Gabriel Jesus can play out wide. Benzema would like playing for Arsenal because of their style of play. He has an interesting choice to make but right now he'd probably choose to move to a London club. On the other side, Manchester United number 2, Altai Bayindir, has praised the club's goalkeepers. We have good teammates and everyone is positive every day. That's the most important thing for us he told the club's website. All the goalkeepers, their character is very nice. We are always positive. Of course we are fighting to be on the pitch, because everyone wants to play with the team in the stadium, but we have a good energy. It doesn't matter who is playing, because we will, of course, support them every time. Team spirit is very important, you know? If we are doing this, we can be successful in the game, it's very important. I think if we're always doing that, we can always go up. Elsewhere, Sunderland boss Michael Beale has said the Black Cats want to bring Ahmad to the club. We've made it really clear to them that we would be in there, but Man United really value him as well. He could have an interesting second half of the season in-house, but if he was to go out on loan, I can assure you, they are well aware we would want him to come back here, Beale said. Putting finances aside, because that's the big thing, isn't it? I know he loved his time here, the fans loved him, and he was well loved in the changing room. When I came here, it was something that, if it could happen, it would happen. But I think Man United realize they have a very good football player on their hands. Again and again. Gary Neville has come under fire after blasting Liverpool and Arsenal for setting a nonsense precedent with their complaints to the PGMOL. The Manchester United legend claims it's embarrassing that Premier League clubs are now writing to refing chiefs over controversial decisions. Neville 48 posted, Clubs writing to the PG Mole is embarrassing. Liverpool and Arsenal started it and set the precedent of this nonsense. Meanwhile, Michael Olise is not the only Crystal Palace star on the radar of Manchester United as reports indicate. The Red Devils are even after Eberecki Easy, according to Spanish source Fichages, the Old Trafford outfit have been willing to splash a fee of 70 million euros to sign the England international from the Eagles. However, the Selhurst Park outfit are demanding an amount of around 90 million euros, which is 77.3 millions of pounds, to sell their prized asset. The asking price is an obstacle for United, who will attempt again in the summer, knowing that Ize is prepared to sign for them. It is reported that the 25-year-old playmaker has already given the green light to move to the 20-time English champions. Moreover, he wants to perform brilliantly in the current campaign to continue to attract the attention of Man United. Ize is mainly a central attacking midfielder who has proved to be productive on the flanks as well, and last season, he was in brilliant form. The 77.3 million pounds rated attacker started 30 games in the Premier League and directly contributed in 14 goals, 10 goals and 4 assists. 
Back in November 2023, he signed a new contract with the London club, which is due to expire in the summer of 2027. This season, the two-capped international has made 15 appearances in the league under Roy Hodgson, scored three goals, and provided just a single assist. In your view, is EZ really worth 77.3 millions of pounds? Should Man United move to secure his signing? So, tell us how you understand in comment section below. On the other side, Man United have been dealt a blow in the chase for Jean-Claire Todibo. Nice's sporting director, Florent Guisolf, has said the defender won't be leaving the club in the January transfer window. We want to have stability, and stability is keeping your best players, Guisolfi told Get French Football News. Jean-Claire and Kefren Thuram are definitely that. We absolutely want to keep them. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag is very interested in bringing Matthijs de Ligt to Manchester United, according to reports. The Dutch defender is the latest target to emerge for the Red Devils as they look to bolster their centre-back options. United have also been linked with a move for Uruguayan international Ronald Araujo this week. However, Ten Hag is now eyeing a potential reunion with Bayern Munich's de Ligt. Sky Sports Germany report that the United boss is very interested in signing the 24-year-old. The pair previously worked together at Ajax, with De Ligt making 70 appearances and made captain at 19 under Ten Hag. He was also part of a team which won a domestic double and reached the Champions League semi-finals in 2018-19. The report adds that De Ligt could become a top target for United in the summer if Ten Hag remains at the club beyond the end of the season. Meanwhile, the Netherlands international is likely to leave Bayern if another defender is brought in. Araujo is a target for the German champions, whilst United have also inquired about his availability. De Ligt, who joined Bayern from Juventus in 2022, still has over three years remaining on his contract. However, he has fallen down the pecking order under Thomas Tuchel this season, due in part to a knee injury. Meanwhile, Man United could pay Casemiro 20 millions of pounds to leave Old Trafford in the summer, according to reports. The former Real Madrid midfielder joined the Red Devils in 2022 in a deal worth 70 millions of pounds and enjoyed an impressive first season at the club. But he struggled at the start of the 2023-24 campaign, before he was sidelined through injury back in October. He returned to Eric Ten Hag's squad for the clash with Tottenham last weekend, but was an unused substitute as Scott McTominay was called upon ahead of him. Now, the star understands, Man United want to cut ties with the Brazilian in the coming months. It comes after it was revealed last month that Man United are set to drastically change their protocol for contracts as Sir Jim Ratcliffe prepares to take a 25% stake in the club.